What's good, YouTube? This is Devo here, back in another video, and today we're gonna be reacting to blind day men off their holiday eats. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe. Let's get into it, bro. You feel me? I, I, I suck at these intros, bro. I suck at. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Hi, my name is Hope. I'll be finding a man based on his cooking. I think you that know, bro. If a black person don't win, I'm gonna be actually very disappointed, bro. Film. Food is a love language on its own. If a man can cook for me, that means he can take bro. care of me. And if he can take care of me... Bro, shut. The way I'll be picking my date... Bro, shut up. What the hell is that? Is that bread? Wow, okay. Um, Are uh, any of them, like, catching your eye? The big slab of cornbread definitely <laughs> caught my attention. <laughs> Who brought the first dish here? My name is David. Uh, what I brought today is cheddar broccoli soup. And it's something that me and my grandpa used to make all the time uh, for Thanksgiving before he had passed away. I wanted to do something in remembrance of him. Rest oh, in peace, but that's Thank like you for ass. bringing this for me. <laughs> what the f Mmm. <laughs> that was really good. Hell no. The I ain't that. Texture good? is very thick. <laughs> The cheese is really good and the broccoli bits. I can tell that you put some time and effort Two into hours. really <laughs> to really cutting up the broccoli. And the second dish, the mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm Pablo. Uh, I made these mashed You cannot make bad mashed potatoes, bro. You you really can't, bro. You can't mess them up. Potatoes. And growing up, my dad's a chef, so he never let me just buy something right off the shelves. I had to make it. I hand mashed those potatoes for you. So I got some reset potatoes, and then I added some salt, some peppers, some butter, some milk, and on top I made some fresh bacon with some chopped up chives. I love mashed potatoes. Anything potatoes is my favorite. So I got you. That's very good. excited to try this. Mmm. <laughs> All the toppings that you put on there really brings everything together. And it does good. remind me about of the mashed potatoes that my dad would make for Thanksgiving. That's good. About the texture, is it dry? <laughs> <laughs> well, straight at you, bro. Damn. As good as they were, I think it could have used a little bit more butter or milk or some type of moisture hey, in bro, there. I could cook but way better than all these guys. Okay, Locked. well, I got you next time. And number I three, can cook the mac and cheese. Way better. Hi, my name is Brandon. Um, I made the mac and cheese because it is a family recipe that we've been making for years. Bro, what the hell is that? That dead look, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That does not look like mac and cheese. Bro, that looks like some crunched up apple pie or some or some turkey with some like what? That's not mac and cheese, bro. My mom bro. really perfected it and she helped me with making it. We're a big spice family. We enjoy big flavors, so I just presented what I think shows that. The mac and cheese was amazing. The texture is so good. Not dry. I might have to take some of that home. I love hearing so. it. I love hearing <laughs> it. I love hearing that. Okay, and they number suck four. Suck his dick the already. It's a fucking shit. Suck his dick. All right, how about you do that? Suck his dick already. Slab over. of cornbread. <laughs> yes, hello. Bro, my shit name look is heat Ramsey. Up, bro. I made the massive <laughs> slab of cornbread. I feel like cornbread's a very, you know, universal food. It's a nice comfort <laughs> food. It's kind of a simple dish. I would still eat it, you know, but like. Simple is out of bro, the box. I you could have like brought anything, but you brought cornbread, bro. Yeah, that's perfect. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Is it homemade? Yes, extremely homemade. <laughs> Extremely homemade, okay. I made it in my in my own home. This would have been perfect if it had a side of like honey butter or something. This fifth plate, not- Is that fucking rice? Or hash browns? Who the fuck? Bro, who eats hash browns at Thanksgiving? Can we no, share what I'm bro. looking at? But <laughs> please explain. Hi, my name is Jacob. Um, that's Egyptian rice, um, originally from Egypt. It's rice with like these uh, noodles we call shadia, and it goes great with my main dish. That's really good. Can never go wrong with some rice. The texture is kind of chewy with the noodles, but I do like that a lot. And last but not least, number six. Hey, my name's Jack. Uh, I brought stuffing. It's like my mom. Stuffing his ass, bro. No, 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 no. I was, I, I was, uh, I was gonna slam my desk, bro, but I, I have shit on it, bro. But I'm God damn it, bro. Why are you bringing stuffing, bro? Stuffing. 
Bro, you had to and save the worst for last, out. bro. Now, I Jesus. eat it by like the pound. Uh, and then just so you know, like if blah, you don't like blah, it, you hate blah, it on blah, mom, blah, so. blah, blah, yeah. Okay. Hey. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's She's tough, not feeling it. It's got mushrooms, celery, Jesus onion, stuffing Christ. stuff, no, and like Italian no, sausage, spicy no, sausage. No, so hopefully no. it's not too hot for you, but no. we like spicy in this household. No, it's good. There is a good amount of spice. I liked it a lot. Thank you. Why? I just want to say You're thank just hungry. Just say that. Thank you for bringing such amazing dishes for me to try today. But the person that I have to eliminate. Yeah, we should all hold hands with us. Wait, there's more? Oh. Probably be Jacob. Not because I didn't like your side dish, but because I think it needs a main dish for it to really stand out. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Nice That's to so meet good. you. <laughs> That's the freshest you like No, I liked it, but don't yeah, let it play out. It goes great with the main dish. I have to try that at one yeah, point. Me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm kind of curious on what his main dish was then. Ooh. Okay, the presentation's a lot better this round. What? <laughs> I didn't think it was too bad last time. That's all I was at. I think the first plate is really catching my eye because that plate just looks heavy. So what I have is fire roasted corn, and then I have sweet and sour barbecue pineapple chicken on a bed of rice. Nice. Okay, not so bad. very not your traditional Thanksgiving meal. Well, it's traditional in uh, well my hometown. I'm from Puerto Rico. I gotta pick up this chicken. There's no knife. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> okay, that was really good. I don't think I've ever tried anything like that. And I see we have pasta on this plate. Yeah. So I made you some penne alla vodka. That is homemade. It's my dad's favorite recipe, so he'd be super proud to see it up on here today. You said it was dry last time, but I can assure you, nothing dry anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he remembered that. That pasta is very creamy. I've had many of those pastas from different places but this one really stands out. It's special. And I can taste that. I can taste that it's special to you. Thank so you. it's not dry? No, not this time. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and number three, we have the more traditional looking Thanksgiving. So right there, you got some turkey. We got brown and dark meat. You don't discriminate, whatever you like, okay. you can take. Oh. Um, we got some homemade gravy and then some mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people hate turkey, especially because they always call it dry. Turkey's dry as shit. You cannot make a wet turkey, bro. You really can't. Unless you splash a bunch of water, splash a bunch of water on it, bro. You cannot make a good turkey, bro. Turkey, bro. Turkey's just ass, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Turkey's terrible. Yeah, turkey terrible. can definitely be a hit or miss. How long did it take you to make this? Oh, uh, pre lie, pre, pre fucking two hours, bro, nigga. Dog. Eight hours. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hell no! Oh fuck no! No, bro. Oh. No. Cooking to me is like it's like a love story. You feel me? Okay. You you get it young. You sit there mm -hmm. and you you really just grow it. You make the turkey nice. Put some butter in it. Caress it. Make it dance. Have a fun time with it. Put it in the oven and love it. See it grow. We got Gordon Ramsay here. <laughs> <laughs> well, your plate is delicious. Reminds me of. Just Thanksgiving with my family, and the turkey is not dry at all. Number four, I see Jesus. we have another soup. Don't get it twisted. This is not a oh. cheddar broccoli soup. This is actually a broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah. Oh god, I cringed. Well, yeah, we cringed. Two very different things. What makes your broccoli cheddar soup different? Mine's made with love. Mine's made with passion. Oh. Okay. You know, I, I spent like hours in the kitchen just making sure it was right for you. I guess two hours of cutting broccoli. <laughs> that is some good broccoli cheddar soup. How's it against the first one? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. They're both they're both up there. They're both really good. Okay, and the last one, the presentation looks really cool here. It's a uh, bell pepper stuff with chicken parmesan. Uh, it's a dish. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I came up with. I'm like real Italian. Hey, I don't want to hate or anything, bro, because I can't cook that. But like uh, my dog, old Jack, name, you got the worst dishes I've seen, bro. Martino, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Until my family had to move away from Jersey from the uh, like mob. So yeah, we like to cook Italian on Thanksgiving. This is really good. 
The flavor is so complex. There's so many different spices going on. You know, the Italian it top, seasoning. It tops your stuffing. The stuffing no was really way. good too. Oh, I'm gonna tell my mom I beat her out then. Let's go. <laughs> I'll say Hope said that, not me though. Tell her I said hi too. I will. You'll meet her soon, so you don't gotta worry about uh -oh. that. Two? Two? Oh, uh, get him out. Oh, <laughs> that's so hard. Get him out. The first guy that I have to Please eliminate but out. don't want to. Should we hold hands again, guys? Yeah. You wanna hold hands again? Will have to be the broccoli cheddar soup. Oh. Just because I had that the first round and nothing against you or your cooking, but. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you. I'm she low key sold. Nice to meet you. I your soup was amazing. No gay shit. Like, cook, so pretty handsome. You guys are both amazing. Thank you for cooking for All me. Right. This is so yeah. hard. It's hurting me inside to do this. Okay. So the reason why I'm eliminating this person is not because I didn't like their cooking. The other guys cooking, just, their dish stood out a lot more. And I loved your dish. It was something that I've never tried before. And I honestly am really sad that I'm not able to figure out what your dessert is, but I'm gonna have to <laughs> eliminate David. Damn, no! David, no! Hi! Nice to meet She was actually good. Look good. I got no glaze shit, bro. I did. Oh, you did? There's just a lot okay. on there, so, so I tried a little bit of everything. Thank you so much. What the fuck? Oh, what is the first one? That looks cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's called a buñuelo. If you don't know, now you know I'm Colombian, 100%. I grew up in a family with, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Latinos always putting their culture on us. So this was something we would always have as a dessert. It's basically like a cheese sweet bread made with cheese, dough, eggs, milk, some salt, maybe some vanilla extract. Oh, nice. So is this something that you grew up eating? Oh my God, like all the time. This is like the go-to. This is like... Just I what I would eat, bad. even when my parents wanted me to eat an actual meal, I would just sneak the buñuelos from the fridge and just always cook it. So when I learned how to make it myself, I just had to continue. Cool, well, so sound can bad. I just like yeah, just grab bite it, it and bite it? Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> That's okay, chew all you want. <laughs> I was born and raised in LA, but my family is from the Philippines. Oh my gosh, no way. Literally, that is crazy. Posture, it's just. My aunt is Filipino. She just had a baby with my yeah, uncle, so now like we always have Filipino hater, family. Jesus, We've been eating bro. balut a lot, literally, really? like, all, yeah, like all the time. It's actually, been some. Okay. Or Jesus are you just saying Christ. that? No, actually. I also love that you're open to diving into and learning about other cultures. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I literally read an entire book on how to speak Tagalog before I picked up. I feel like you're lying. No, I'm literally <laughs> serious. Like, you can ask me after, like, manganagamik, like, kumustaka, like, I got you. I love. The, what is it called again? The cheese ball? She's it's called a buñuelo. He definitely won. Buñuelo. If he didn't win, I go lie, bro. The cheese got no taste in yeah. bro. That's something that I can I see like myself like just binge eating. All the this time. shit probably yeah. looked the, the best, bro. dessert. So, I made a pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> you sound unsure. Well, about no, it. no, because the thing is, we, it's been out for a little bit, so it's a little like on the softer side. It's supposed to be like a cheesecake bar. The way you said it made me seem like I should be a little concerned. Oh, absolutely not. You've had the other food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I'm a good cook. Come on now. <laughs> are you full Filipino or are you half? I'm full Filipino. All okay, right, for sure. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm half. My dad moved to the States when he was nine. Wait, what's your other half? My mom is completely white. Okay. But she's been all around like the South, so she's kind of got that little, she's got a little kick to her, you know what I'm saying? No, so. a little kick. Are you a family person? Huge family person. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest in the family by seven years. Okay. So they're all older, but it's awesome because like the amount of advice they give me when it just comes to anything in life has been awesome. I come from a big but. family too. I mean, I only have two other siblings, but my grandma had 11 kids. So yeah. it's a huge extended family. And then the third dessert, the presentation is very nice. So that's my uh, New York cheese, cheese, cheesecake. Uh, <laughs> it's got raspberry, like homemade raspberry sauce on top as long as fresh raspberries to go with it. Make sure you get like a good amount of raspberry sauce in there because I could have just brought that out and you would have drank it and probably. Oh, one. okay. So it's a New York cheese, cheese, uh, cheese. Yeah, cheese it's cake? extra cheesy. Like not real cheese, but it's like, you know, the cream cheese in there, the raspberry sauce, all that goes together. I go lie, I don't even really like cheesecake like that. Like, I don't, I don't mean to bash his food and shit, bro, because 
this guy could probably cook better than me. But cheesecake is like really mid, bro. I'll I'll, I'll really so like are, it, it could bro. Be Michelin star. Are you able to cook? And if you are, like, what's your favorite thing to cook? So I think I'm more of a baker than a I would say a cook of savory foods. Ooh. Best things that I think I can cook is a citrus olive oil cake. So it's not a very oh. traditional dessert. You'll definitely have to make that for me. <laughs> Mmm, it's really good. The raspberries, you were right. I think I would drink the sauce if I could. I got some back in the extra. We can drink okay, it later perfect. together. So you said you are Italian? Yeah, very Italian. Did you grow up here? In I grew up here. I recently visited Italy, like visited my family's hometown and stuff. My uh, great-grandpa was a bookie for the mob. He uh, wrote some wrong checks, so we had to get out of there. If anyone from the mob's watching this, I'm not me. <laughs> I enjoyed Good. each and every dish. So the reason I'm eliminating this dish is not, I love the dish. It's something that I can eat whenever, but I expected it to be a little sweet since this is the dessert round. So I'm gonna eliminate Pablo. Damn, I wanted him to win, no! I'm so sorry. Damn. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice wow. Oh, yeah. She yeah, actually so Definitely bro. try it again if you ever do. You know what's crazy? This guy literally studied apparently her religion or something or like a language. Like, this would have been next perfect time it would be sweeter. Her, Mashed potatoes so. would be less dry as well, <laughs> no. but I got you. I got Thank you. Thank you. Both They're never desserts meeting tasted again, bro. really good, but I think the deciding factor for me would be the presentation. So I have to eliminate Brandon. <laughs> no way this Jack dude actually won, bro. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. I'm, nice I'm, like, I'm just waiting for like the studio lights. No, now, it's so okay. I'm sorry, it's okay. But, yeah. I love your outfit. By Appreciate the way. it. I try, I try to keep it festive, you feel me? Yeah. Thanksgiving episode, so yeah. You got a dancing boy over here. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, nah. I actually don't even believe this nigga can actually cook. No way. Like, I, bro, call me a D1 hater, bro. But there's no way this nigga actually fucking cook that shit, bro. <laughs> oh, what's up? Bro, he, he doing, looks bro? like he can smoke the best. I'm he knows, Thank like, you, the best nice dispensaries oh, and are so all that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, I washed my hands like 30 times okay. trying to make sure I didn't give you a disease. Yeah, I actually used to be a chef, so if I lost, it would have been destroying my ego. Well, you showed yourself up, and Thank I'm you. honestly got, very honored to try your food. Oh, I got I got some more in the back if you want to take okay, it home. Perfect. Um, I'll probably cook her some food. Or maybe mm -hmm. I'll have her cook me food this time. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if I can. You can make that, that uh, cake. <sighs> I need me. I need to get myself a girl, bro.